Sports. Jimmy B and Manoush today. Jax is here. Connor in the studio. And there's a lot of shaking going on right now in the National Football League. Manoush, let's start with former Cardinal wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. He is now a Titan. Yeah, Tennessee Titans. Uh, and and the, the, the numbers out there are $13 million base uh, or 12 to $13 million depending who you read, with up to $15 million total with the incentives. Um, you know, it's interesting. You go, okay, the rumors were it could be the Patriots who were right. who were deeply involved. But I think once the number got over $10 million for the Patriots, you think they backed, they backed out. Okay. And then here's the Tennessee Titans that have the uh, – I forget the, the, the young kid that they drafted. Will Levis. But, yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about the receiver. Oh, okay. Yeah, Will Levis uh, aside. It's going to be Ryan Tannehill. It's going to be the quarterback yeah. for the Tennessee Titans. And you got Derrick Henry, you know, the fine running back. So I, I think you've got a, a big play guy coming out of the backfield. You got a big play guy receiver. Um, you got the young kid they just drafted at wide receiver. It may take him a little while to develop. Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks. From and so and I'm sitting there going, okay, you think about that and go, kind of a conservative offense. It is. But maybe they will open it up more for D Hop being in there. Uh, Henry. You wonder how many more, how much more tread he's got on his tires. He'll be a solid running back. All right, let me hold on. Let me, no, let me know. Let me drop this on you guys. Otherwise, I'll forget it because I'm old. So here he says, DeAndre Hopkins says, I want to play for a playoff contender. All right, did he just take the money? Because I don't see, I think the Titans maybe are good enough to sneak in as a wild card, but they're not a Super Bowl contending team. Well, I, I think what probably happened, Jimmy, is that the, the only team would pay him close to a total of $15 million for the year with incentives and, and bonuses and okay. whatever, was probably the Tennessee Titans. All right. Um, he was, I think he was trying to get the Odell Beckham kind of money, and I think he's achieved that uh, with Odell signing. Who's making 15 million a year? I don't know what his bonuses are, but they probably said, look, we'll give you 12, 13 million a year. We'll put the incentives on there for the next two years. Uh, you can rate, you can make up to 15 million a year plus. So maybe it's up to 30, 35 over a two-year period. I think that's the only reason why. And yeah, you got a wish list, you've got a hit list of where you'd right. like to go. Yeah. But eventually, you know, if if you if you're looking for, you know, uh, you know, prime filet. And that's what you want, <laughs> but you got to settle for a ribeye. Okay, okay. it still feeds you, <laughs> still does the job. All right, it's still it's still there. But I think that in, in this case, he will enhance the offense. Hey, Vrabel's teams have always been playoff content. They have, so he knows now whether he can go all the way or he, not. I think it's yeah. suspect. But I think with Ryan Tannehill now having an extra weapon, how they open the offense, how the offense changes, having uh, you know Derrick Henry, you know all that stuff, and then his defense. To your point, Jimmy, they can be in the hunt for a wild card. Who knows, you know, what could happen from after that? I, I think that's that's some of the things I looked at. Went, hmm. Then I went, oh yeah, there's that business side where nobody else is going to pay him close to that's it. what Odell Beckham is making. Yep, because I think he's as bad, he's as good or better a receiver as Odell. But both of them have the injury bug that tends to creep up with, with both these guys. Yeah, a couple of things that stood out to me when the Titans signed him was, w one, uh, Vrabel is not going to be like Cliff Kingsbury when you're missing practices. He's no, a lot harder, no, no. Oh, yeah. a lot hard-nosed coach than what Cliff Kingsbury was. Number two, Diop wants the ball. So now you go to an offense with Derrick Henry. They ran the ball a ton. You look at the stats of Malik Willis last year. I think he had like nine passes one yes, game against yeah. the Packers that one that one time. But And then my third one is I was shocked it was a two-year deal. I thought he'd yeah. be a guy that would say, hey, let me sign with the Titans to kind of regain my status as one of the top receivers in the league and then sign somewhere else. Kind of like what Odell's well, doing with the Ravens. Okay, let me, let, me, let me explain why that probably didn't happen. Because the bird in the hands were two in the bush. Okay. And if you're going to make close to $15 million the next two years with all your incentives, yes. and then you put yourself, like you said, Jax, you put yourself out there, go, oh, let me prove I'm worth fifteen million to $18 million, and that falls flat on its face. Well, guess what? Here Three you are, minutes. Here you are, receiver. I feel in the twilight of your career. Okay. That hell, if I can go make you know close to 30, 30 plus the next two years, that's pretty good versus, you know, not that you don't bet on yourself, but you're betting on the come mm -hmm. that if you do a one year deal, all of a sudden you go free agent, everybody else says, you know what? You're not worth that D hop. I think, Jack's to your point, he's already tested the market, his value. And if he says, well, I get two years for close to, you know, uh, 15 up to 30 per. I think he's already set his own marketplace. Mm -hmm. He's like, 
he's lucky to get the two year deal. I'm with you on that. Yeah. I, I just think he's going to get paid. Um, he'll enhance the offense. Uh, and to your point, Jax, yeah, Vrabel's not going to play that. Mm -mm. You know, he's not playing. You're practicing. Here's the deal, bro. You're going to be practicing. You're going to be playing. You're going to be part of it. And I'm sure he had that heart to heart with him. I'm sure with, with the hop and his agent to say, look, it's no BS around here. This is how we do it. We do it's It's somewhat similar to, to signing with the Patriots because it's the Patriot way. Correct. In Tennessee. Yeah. So D hop by not signing to 